Today we want to talk about what is environmental performance assessment. Today we will explain it in four parts. The first part is the concept and characteristics of environmental performance assessment. First of all, we all know that environmental environmental assessment is an environmental management tool, which refers to a method of regularly evaluating projects and providing factual information about project environmental performance. An enterprise environmental performance can be understood from two aspects. One is the financial performance obtained by the enterprise environmental efforts. And the other is the enterprise environmental protection and its damage to the ecological environment, which will have an impact on the enterprise performance. The second is the financial performance of the environment, the difference between environmental revenue and expenditure, the expenditure of environmental projects and the economic benefits of enterprises participating in improving the ecological environment, all of which will affect the financial performance of enterprises. When finance faces quality problems, the performance of environmental quality mainly depends on the implementation of environmental laws, the degree of damage to the ecological environment, and the protection and improvement of the ecological environment. At the same time, we can find that environmental performance and financial performance are inseparable because there is a positive correlation between them. If environmental performance is good, financial performance will also be good. Win-win. The second part is the significance of environmental assessment. Environmental performance evaluation is an integral part of the environmental performance management process. But at the same time, he is also a reference for internal development. This involves the entire organization of the business, a group and an individual, of all interests. It can provide organizations with relevant and verifiable information, formulate strategic goals, develop and revise strategic implementation plans, motivate employees, guide employee behavior, identify significant environmental impacts and quantify goals and indicators, etc. The third part is the emergence and development of environmental performance evaluation. Whatever it is, it has a certain history of development. In the past 50 years, the development of environmental performance evaluation has made great progress, especially a key breakthrough. We have developed a timetable through which we can understand the emergence and development of environmental performance evaluation. In the emergence and development of environmental performance evaluation, the Canadian Accounting Association listed environmental performance indicators in seven industries and 15 regions in 1994, while Japan's Environmental Policy Priority Index is a method to evaluate the overall environmental performance of enterprises to different methods. Greatly promoted the development of performance evaluation. Environmental performance assessment also includes eco-efficiency indicators, the ratio of environmental performance variables to financial performance variables. Through the assessment of environmental load, set environmental governance goals for managers, and put forward process improvement plans as indicators of operation and management. It is one of the important tools to support enterprise decision making, and also provides a method for comparing the environmental load of different enterprise production processes. We have included some examples of environmental issues and environmental performance indicators to help you understand. Environmental impacts include energy consumption, raw material consumption, purified water consumption, greenhouse gas emissions, and ozone depleting gas emissions. WBCSD 1998 put forward several principles for the formulation of eco efficiency indicators, which is an important basis for compiling eco efficiency indicators. They are 1. Must be related to environmental protection. 2. Improvements in human health and quality of life are linked to sharp enabling policymakers to improve their companies environmental performance sharp to illuminate the diversity inherent in the industry. 3. Can be compared and monitored. 4. Must be clearly defined, quantifiable, transparent and verifiable. 5. It must be easily understood by stakeholders and must be based on an overall assessment of the company's operations, products and services, with a particular focus on areas that it can directly manage and control.
using a minimum of baseline data. 6. Issues related to upstream and downstream operations or products must be considered. The fourth part is the subject and objective evaluation. The evaluation subject refers to the organization responsible for clarifying the evaluation method and evaluating the environmental performance of the specific evaluation object. There are public administration agencies, corporate business units and third-party agencies, like research institutions. Auditors are third-party institutions. The evaluation objects of the management department are divided into two aspects, regional and environmental. Regions refer to provincial, municipal, and national levels. The environment refers to water, atmosphere, soil, etc. Evaluation objects can be divided into two categories, entity and non-entity. Entities are those organizations that may have an impact on the environment, such as businesses, management, or even individuals. Intangibles refer to non-material elements such as laws, regulations, policies, technologies, and standards that have an impact on the environment. Enterprise performance evaluation is affected by many factors and is difficult to control. Therefore, if you want to know more about environmental performance evaluation, you can get a clearer understanding of what environmental performance evaluation is through more cases. That's all we have to say today. Thank you all for listening.